Well, just to put some numbers on this, about half of global emissions arise from the activities of just about 10% of the world's population. And about 70% of all global emissions of carbon dioxide come from about 20% of the world's population. And very closely, the emissions relate to uh, the wealth or the income um, of the citizens. So a professor like myself will be a relatively high emitter. Uh, typically, professors live in large houses. They'll have a relatively large car. They'll travel quite often. Some of them I know will have second homes. They'll sometimes use business flights. They'll consume lots of goods. So it does correlate quite closely with income. And so my concern here is that when we try to address climate change and reduce our emissions by focusing on all seven and a half billion people, I think it misunderstands um, where the actual responsibility for the emissions reside. And therefore, we are not developing policies that need to be tailored to that particular 20 percent. So many people listening to your show now in the US or elsewhere in the world will be medium to low emitters. And to them, yes, it's important they make some changes. But there will also be people listening to this show who are very high emitters. And uh, it, is, it is those of us uh, that really the policies need to aim at to drive the emissions out of our lifestyles. And we must make sure in doing that, we don't impoverish people who already are uh, struggling with the current economic system. Who are the highest carbon emitters, Dr. Anderson? <laughs> The, the highest carbon emitters, well, they're going to be the very wealthiest in this world. From a climate point of view, when you hear the Al Gores and the DiCaprios talking about climate change, and you look at their carbon footprint, they'll be you know, many thousands of times more than, than an average African and many hundreds of times more probably even than, than many Americans. So it is that sort of, uh, that, you know, the very wealthy are the very high emitters. But also, I think a professor like myself, senior lecturers in universities, the people who are more what we like to see as senior, the, the language we use, you know, senior in our organizations, whether that's in companies or in, in the public or, um, or, or indeed the private sector, these people will be the high emitters. So, um, I mean, I, I won't make any comment on journalists, but well, certainly some of the journalists I've, I've, I'm familiar with, they are also very high emitters. So and it is that upper echelons of society.